What is up guys, Fixin' today bringing you another Sony Vegas tutorial. This will be showing you how to mask in Sony Vegas. Now this was requested by someone in the comments of a previous tutorial. So if you have any suggestions, please put that in the comments below, they'd be really appreciated. I, list, I read all of your comments and nearly all suggestions that you sent in, I will make into videos. Someone was also requested to make a um, color correction slash like what I use, my color correction settings that I use. So I'll be doing a tutorial on that soon. So please subscribe or like the video if you would like to see that too. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to actually mask in Sony Vegas. Now today I'll be showing you how to mask something that is actually moving. So as you can see in, I get to the point, the, in this footage, you just aim down sights and then shoots and then goes back to hip firing. I'm just going to trim the bit where he uh, aim down, aims down sight and trim the start here. So this will be this will show you how to make simple shapes like say a circle and also how to make more intricate shapes. And then I'll also be showing you how to do still images and moving images. So the first thing you're going to need to do is right click hit properties and click disable resample I just tell you to do this in all my tutorials you must do it on all footage you have I just definitely recommend it now once you've done that you can just click over on the event pan crop button and the first thing you want to do is tick or select or enable this mask layer it will go blue and then just tick it and then click on the first frame down here this little half of a diamond now make sure you are, are on the mask layer not on the position layer just this will screw everything up the next thing you want to make sure before you start is uh, that sync cursor is enabled this little box will be highlighted blue make sure that is selected now I'm going to be edit, uh, cutting around this gun so click over on the normal edit tool this cursor button and then zoom into the area you want this is mine now let's say we want to just do a simple shape like a these two are circle and rectangle or ellipse and rectangle so for rectangle you just select and then that is your cropping tool you'll be cropping that area out you can use the corners you can resize it however you like um, you can actually rotate it if you want if that's what you want to do you can do whatever you want with this um, same thing goes for just hit delete and delete that same thing goes for the circle tool you can resize it as much as you like you can rotate it if it is an ellipse. You can do really whatever you want. Really, really useful. So today, I'm gonna. That's pretty basic stuff. Uh, pretty obvious. But I'm gonna show you how to use this tool here, which is the anchor creation tool. And this is creating more intricate uh, shapes. Now, by the way, if you want to move around when you're on this tool, just hold Control. This hand will come up, and then use your mouse to move around, and then use the middle mouse to scroll in and out. So we go back to anchor creation tool. I'm going to be editing around this hand, so um, I'm going to do it of quite a rough job here. Obviously, if you're going to be spending a lot more time on it, you go around little bit by little bit around the edge, uh, clicking on every time the different angle changes. Now, let's say you're, you're like me and you don't want to do that. I'm just doing a rough job here. Um, whoops. You can, now, okay, I've made a mistake here. Perfect example. Say you want to move this because obviously it's in a totally wrong spot, just hold control and like you did before and this time click on this uh, the anchor you created and you can move around wherever you like. So I'm going to move it there and then again you know move around. Make sure, that's another thing, make sure once you've held control and you want to adjust the angle and size, make sure you click back on that, the last created anchor, otherwise it will not continue the line and it will screw everything up. So I'm just uh, going around the shape here just like this quite rough um, obviously even this will take a little while but it will save some time if you go around it like this now you can do one of two things one you can just leave it messy obviously like this that is an option but it will look pretty bad so by the way once you make sure once you've gone around the whole thing you go back to the first anchor point and okay so here I've made a mistake you can see that these two do not match up. So what I'm going to have to do is delete this first area because they do not, the two different areas don't connect. I made that mistake I just told you not to do. So select back on the previous one 
and you'll have to redo some of it if that does happen, which is quite annoying. It happens to me quite a lot. It does get irritating. But let's presume that never happened. So I've edited around the whole thing. Now, if you go back to the connecting the last two different points, you'll see the whole thing gets highlighted. All the points go yellow. So just click on it, and then boom. You've selected around it. You can see over here in this preview window, I have selected around it. So obviously this looks pretty bad. I actually just noticed that this is a bit off, so I'm gonna... What you can do, by the way, once you have finished selecting around it, you can still adjust the different anchor points and adjust them as needed. Now, what I've done is quite messy. There's quite a thick border around it. So what I want to do, there's one way, you can make it very accurate, which is the best way to do this, but let's say you haven't, let's say you can't be bothered. You can use this uh, tool here, the feather path type. I'm going to make this in, for example, because we've gone out of the edge. I'll make that say 1. And as you see, it brings it in, uh, it makes it a bit fuzzy, and it just brings in the edge around here. So if you had, say, so you had the same set of footage on the bottom. Actually, if I uh, copy, and then, actually, no, I'll do this. I'll just go duplicate track. Now, let's say underneath, I don't have a mask I have the background here so let's say we want to add an effect so we'll say there's just a really kind of an example like magic bullet looks and then black and white and we click finish as you can see that will add a black and white effect so if you're doing something like that uh, doing the method I just did where I did it a bit messy and then border in using the feather type tool that will look that looks perfect obviously here the border was a bit fatter so you'll have to adjust that a bit that's relatively easy but for this like thumb area and the edge of the gun looks perfect you really cannot tell it just looks like you've made the gun black and white but I don't want to do that I let's just say we want to be real neat freaks and copy around it really perfectly um, you can obviously do that but that feather type tool just makes it a lot easier now if you want to make it uh, you can also try out and you can make it like six or something like huge number and that will make it really faded and that is another way to do it um, but I recommend just being uh, really accurate that is the best way to do it. it does take longer but it just really does work the best now that is for a still image now obviously with mine it is a moving frame it is not still so I'm gonna go across one frame to the right and obviously the gun moves so I'm gonna click over on this cursor uh, icon or normal edit tool and then what you can do is select uh, the previous mate, like your previous mask area. Select one of the points and just hit delete twice and then that will get rid of it. And we can go back to the anchor creation tool and then you'll just do the same thing again. Obviously I'm going to do it quite rough just for tutorial purposes. Just so you guys don't have to sit and wait uh, and watch as I go around it painstakingly slow. So I'm just going to go around like that and I think that looks pretty good. And then of course you just join it up. And boom, you have now uh, cropped around your area here. So if we go again, one frame to the right, do the same thing, delete the previous mask area, and mask around what you want. Now this will work for any footage, uh, obviously if it's 60 FPS, uh, if you'll have more frames to do, or you can skip every second frame of your choice, but this is just 30 FPS, which does again make it easier. Now if this is uh, editing live footage of people, uh, most standard cameras will be 24 frames per second. So again, easier again. The less frames, obviously, the easier it is to do. Now you must have to dis disable resampling, or you'll get this weird motion blur effect and that will just really screw up your masking. So make sure you have that disabled so it just stays still for a bit. So I'm going, and then I'm going to wait till it moves. So that would be here doesn't make much of a difference but in this frame this is when it really moves so I'm gonna delete and then crop around it and he's gonna do this frame by frame all the way along your whole footage okay so I have now edited around my whole footage so if we uh, play this back here actually I can you select your whole footage and then hit shift B and what that will do is pre-render it frame by frame and then that way you can just play it through really smoothly so if we play this through here as you see it is cropped around through every frame so play it back and you see I've done it frame by frame all the way around 
Now obviously I have done a very messy job of this and it's quite a quick footage, it didn't take me too long but obviously you want to make it look a lot more perfect, a lot neater for your footage. So that is pretty much it, like I showed you earlier you can use this to make effects, um, you can use it to uh, you know just add different effects to just the gun for instance in montages or just the like just you can add different effects like that so really kind of useful effect so hope you guys have enjoyed um, if you have any other suggestions for other videos you'd like to see please put that in the comments below that'd be really appreciated and yeah that's pretty much it guys so like comment subscribe and see you next one bye guys